Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So can you have, can you hear us? Yeah. In my room, I, we have Staples number two. So it's a middle ear exploration of a 61 year old lady. She suffers from conductive hearing loss since the age of 20. She had as a child recurrent otitis media, and um, the pneumatization of the temporal bone shows that the right side has a reduced pneumatization. So, therefore, we are not absolutely 100% sure that this is a otosclerosis, because sometimes in these cases we see fixation from the body of the incus or of the head of the malleus. So we have to be aware if we have to do really stable surgery or ossicular chain reconstruction. So this we call middle ear exploration to see what's the problem. So in the CT scan you usually not are able to see if it's really an otosclerosis or not. Sometimes you can see the focus around the oval niche. So this is a standard approach, as you have seen by Professor Boots. I'm a little bit more superior. I show you. Can I the respiratorium have? The idea is to really see also the malleus here, the short process. You can see this. Yes, we can see that. You can see the short process of the malleus here. Yep. Here I move the malleus. It's mobile. You can see. It's mobile. And now I turn the angle of the microscope a little bit to look into the oval niche. And I've mobilized the tympanomeatal flap. And I'm just removing posterior superior canal bone. Bitte scharfen Löffel. With the house curette, I remove the bone superior to the corda away from the corda. like this and you have to enlarge here that you have a good view view is important and that's also the reason that you have bring away the tympanomeatal flap out of your field that you have a very good view on the white promontory when it's red all the time this obstructs your view and you see you have really to work on this bone Petrus bone, it's strong bone. And you can train this in the laboratory easily. And it's very important, as we heard, that the curate has to be really sharp. Otherwise, you push. And then you can suction this dust away with the bigger suction. But you are not using a burr and... The... I'm not using the drill for this maneuver. You... In tympanoplasty, when I do a tympanoplasty and a canalplasty and I have the drill on my field, I use the drill. But for microsurgery on the ossicles, I don't use it. But you, for, for sure you can use it, as you have seen by the professor in the other room, Sarioglu, sorry. It was a very nice demonstration how we can really nicely use the drill around the corda. And you see the corda can be lifted up a little bit. Bitte jetzt um, haken 1,8. And the key is to really have a good exposure on your oval niche. So I prefer, as everybody mentioned before, to see facial nerve pyramidal process, stapedial tendon. And then you have a good view on this foot plate. And you have to free the corda away from the incus because then when you have to fix the prosthesis, and this is still here, it is annoying because the prosthesis moves away. So lift up this corda. Don't stretch too much because the patient does suffer from this case, uh, that means um, that the taste will change for minimal three months. Nochmals curette. And you see the corda, cow's level, is lying under this small bone here. So when I remove this bone a little bit more, it's 
So now we have a perfect view. I do a magnification for you. It's an old fear Heiklein. Can you see it? Yes, it's very good, yeah. Focused, centralized. Can you so really, can I have you to really adapt see? a little bit on my suction length because there are a little bit different tools, but... And can you really see the complete foot plate? Now I show you. I, I think I it's can a, see. It's oh, yeah, no, 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 you it's see it now? Yes. No, so it's fine. We check this now. If this is fixed, you see it's completely fixed. She has a complete conductive hearing loss. And this is fixed. White and nicely sclerotized. Not spongiotic, it's otosclerosis. Now this is proven. But, but this so footplate... Now the steps. We didn't see before the removal of the superstructure. Yeah. First, I measure the prosthesis. I measure always the distance between the footplate and the superficial part of the incus. Some measure from inferior, and I prefer superior. Langenmess. I show you later on why. So now there is this different diff uh, with this device. We see this lies directly over the incus. You see this? If this other one lies oh underneath, I'm not hundred percent sure. But when this is lying over the incus here, I'm sure this is the correct distance. Yeah. Distance. You see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, the next step is to remove the superstructure. Because when you remove the superstructures, you have usually bleeders. In the time you wait that the bleeder stops, you can prepare your prosthesis. Drill, the skeeter. So, for this uh, removal of the superstructure, I prefer to drill the posterior crews, not to have the fracture risk, and with this uh, drill, you can easily cut then fine and sauger, that's fine, fine. Easily cut around here this posterior superstructure. And then you have the broken line. You can do this. Before you use this micro drill, you check if it works. And, and you go uh, down this to is the, the posterior the yeah. cruise. You see, with a nice cut. This is for me precision work in the staple surgery, and I like the precise work. That was a skeeter, yeah? There is another micro drill instead of the skeeter from Bionair. I didn't use that until now, but I saw that you have it here. Yes, then, it's the now, stuff, yeah. I cut the tendon. I don't cut the tendon before. before. And now also I remove, um, I cut the incudostapedial joint. Um, Tellermesserchen, Klein. So I have to be careful with the corner. We go to check where is the into the stapedial joint. Here I have it. It's a little bit strong here in this case. Sometimes it's not so easy to cut really. Sometimes, like here, I break, or by accidentally it breaks. You see this processus lenticularis? Yeah. And now, with the Pellucci share, with the Pellucci scissors, I cut the tendon proximal to the process. Putzen bitte. It's etwas hard dran. Oder Staub. It's good. We nehmen dann diese Smart Piston von der Kurz. So here I cut. The, no, the scissors is not perfect. It does not close perfectly. So 1,5 Haken or sowas.
Now with a longer hook, I break the anterior uh, cruise as Professor Bo Nein, Haken, nicht den dicken Häklein. Wo haben Sie länger denn noch? Nur das. So 1.0, they offer me. I use a 1.5, they are a little bit stronger. So you check here if the posterior cruise has broken, then you move it down and anterior. It's very important that you are staying nearby the foot plate. Fast sinking. Now in this case, we are really happy that it's not bleeding. It's easier for showing you. The last year I had one, I had always bleeding the whole day. <laughs> and this was very difficult. It's also easier for you, not only for us. <laughs> then if I it's can not show bleeding. you something. Now you see the situation. We are ready to do the perforation. I use the skeeter as well. So now it's time to do, prepare the prosthesis because I don't like to let open the inner ear long. So first I use the prosthesis. <coughs> Or I prepare the prosthesis. Nein, nicht diese, sondern der andere. Und das, den Block 06. Um, darf ich hinten schauen? Das nehme ich. Gut. Ja. So I use a Teflon etinol band prosthesis. The classic is like the prosthesis you have seen by Professor Booth. The advantage is you put a little bit. Um, electricity on the prosthesis and it closes. This fits perfectly and that's the Incus. And the new design, the new design developed by a um, professor in Zurich, Alex Huber, it has another form. So, Haben Sie Uhrmacher? Uhrmacher? Uhrmacher Pinzette haben Sie nicht? Och, das ist schlecht. Geben Sie mir, um, das ist gut, okay. I have to mobilize this out. So, das nehmen wir weg, in das Schächtelchen zurück. We measure this prosthesis. Okay, now length mess. So, with this uh, measuring instrument, we decided that we have from the foot plate here down to the most distant part, we have exactly five millimeters. Now we add 0 0.5 to go, to allow the prosthesis to go inside the foot plate. So we add 0 0.5. So this is the correct length of this prefabricated prosthesis, sorry. For this, I use a watchmaker forceps. It's a little bit more, it's easier to hold it and to bring it in this positioner. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the presentation effect. So, this is the parking of the prosthesis. When you take it, you hold the finger like this, and with your instrument, you grab it like this, and then you can place it over the ink. So we go to, back to the ear, das auf die Seite legen. So, jetzt kommt der Skeeter 0,5. 0 0.5 is the hole I make for this situation. Und wo ist der Pedal? Da unten, gut. Kann man da irgendwo die... You can see it. Sauger. It's the zweitkleinste, yeah. And it's the kleinste, and the skeeter here. You see, this heater does not move correctly. It's not in the correct middle centralized. The heater is etwas out of. Sehen Sie? Er, er bewegt leicht auf die Seite. Ja. So this uh, skit has really to be precise and it has to be handled like a micro instrument when you clean it. So we get the new one. Perfect. Perfect. Now this is a perfect one. This is another important point. You have really to have the correct instruments. You see now, it turns now perfect. You can see all these details. Sauger wieder. Sehr schön. You see the beginning of the hole. Now I'm doing the perforation, 0 0.5. Messzylinder, 04. Measuring cylinder, 0 0.4. That's the size of the prosthesis. Correct opening. And now we take the prosthesis. The prothese. Jetzt geben Sie mir das da rein, so. Ja, fast senken. Ähm, zeigen Sie mir. Das ist okay. Ja, das ist gut. So, we hold this here. Ich 
Carlton. So, Herr Klein, 0,5. Oder 0,6, ja. Ja. Now it goes down. Is that the fine step? We check if the prosthesis fits in the perforation. Don't suction it directly in it. Um, we see now. Nine Herkley. Yeah. Now we see now the perfect position. We can move easily. It's almost no gap between this. And now we fix it on the inkers. Einmal größere Sauger und Strompinzette. Sie geben dann bipolar, wenn ich sage. With the micro bipolar, I give a little bit of energy, electricity on this uh, prosthesis. Pay attention that you don't coagulate the corda, strom. Moment, I see it. Strom. Yeah, strom given. Did you see? Closes. Uh, not really, yeah. It should close now. Strom. Strom. Hopla, sorry, that was not good. Nein, nicht. Mikro Häklein nochmals. I'm not absolutely happy with the fixation because this does not go anterior here. I think this is a little bit, I have to remove this again and open again. I'm not happy with this. I take it out. I think this prosthesis does not fit over this ink as correctly. I don't know why exactly. Nein, nein, das da. Und jetzt geben Sie mir mal diese anderen Sachen da dazu noch. Zur Prothese. I'm sorry for that, but the prosthesis has really to fix correctly. No, no, hair clean. 
nochmals häkeln. Das da auf die Seite legen. Nein, ich halte es mit dem Finger. I tried once again to bend it a little bit different. And when it does not work, I think this is the distance here is not optimal. So I take another prosthesis. I'm sorry for that, but I don't see that this fix is perfect. Can I have a standard stapes prosthesis? Yeah, standard. Yeah. Yeah. Die legen wir auf die Seite und das können wir zurückgeben. Vielleicht ist das das ist einfach von der Größe her nicht optimal. Pinzette. In diese Schachtel zurück. Das da? Das zurück und das ist die 04. Gut. Das ist gut, das ist okay. Ich mache ähm, diese Pinzette wieder. At home, I have the etinol formed like this, and I think this is much safer to place. So, now we have the right position, a uh, lengthness, light the right length. We have measured from the foot plate here up to the last part, and we add 0 0.5, so we have 5.5. Four. Like this. It's always a little bit the same measurement. It's four here underneath and 4.5 here. So that's the reason why I measure here, because this we can really measure. The other one is approximately. Wieder diese Pinzette. So when I remove it, I go in here. I hold this here and park it again here. Wo ist sie? Ja. Der war hier hingespickt. So you see, with this uh, forceps, you have too much strength and it flies over. Noch mal eine. Am Schluss finden wir sie dann. Nein, das, ihr müsst eine Uhrmacherpinze darauf haben. Das ist viel einfacher. Da kann man das halten. Ja. ja. Voll weggespickt. Nein, weggespickt. Voll. So. Nochmals. Wieder Messerchen, Messer. Ja. 
So, wieder diese Pinsette. Jetzt hoffe ich, dass es nicht mehr passiert. Das ist wirklich unangenehm mit dieser Pinsette, weil die ist nicht schön gebunden. Ja, das wissen Sie, wenn man nicht gewohnt ist an der Hecht, ist das mühsam. Schon wieder. Nein, die Pinzette hält nicht, das ist das Problem. Jetzt nehme ich sie anders. Das ist die richtige. Für das, das habe ich auf, jetzt nicht mehr, es ist okay. Gut, jetzt machen wir hier. So again, prosthesis, placement. Feine Sauger, der feinste. Ja, es geht. So, jetzt fast senken. Ja. You hold it like this and then you take it out. Herkli, Sauger der Feinste. So now this goes down in the vestibule. Fast sinken, nochmals das gleiche. Now we have to crimp it by ourselves. Why are you not using the McGee? It's I can use both. once again so to bring the band around it's very easy with this one and now you can fix it with the McGee more anterior you have to pay attention of the yeah, corda. the corda is annoying here in that case no it's it's fine that's it very nice so, now um, Soft Tissue, jetzt ähm, Uhrmacher oder respektive Pinsette und Bellucci Schere, groß. Now I take as well a little bit of this connective tissue.
around this uh, oval, oval niche. You park this in the bone here. For all this, uh, I use this watchmaker forceps. It's much smaller and easier to handle down here. Jetzt Häklein oder die Nadel bitte. Das halten. Und jetzt den Sauger klein. The suction not directly over, around. And now you can place the connective tissue. More anterior and the second one here. Hackline and no comma fear. Jetzt wieder die Nadel. So, that's sealed. The band is nice. So we give a little bit of connective tissue, as you have seen by Professor Boots. I use this as well. This gives circulation around the prosthesis and fixation. With the hack, a pinzette and the spelucci share. With the before here. So this piece of connective tissue. With the hack. So and now the. Sauger wieder ein kleinstes, so halten. So underneath of the corner. Jetzt noch einmal Sauger. This cord has no strength and this taste should be normal. So this is the final touch. It's not the Hercule 0,8. I check the mobility of the ossicular chain by palpating the malleus here. You see everything moves easily. You see? Yes, it's very nice visible. It's all moving. Perfect. And now the metal flap comes back. Very thin skin here in this patient. 